Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, what if you could actually crack your instinct open. Um, and so, you know, when I start working with actors, I usually ask them how often they feel instinctive. And um, they usually say that it's a very rare thing, that they, they have felt instinctive and totally instinctive or they sometimes do but very rarely and they don't know how to make that happen um it's like this um mysterious thing the instinct and there's also kind of a legend out there that it's you can only touch your instinct sometimes you can't be instinctive all the time even the great actors say that that they have moments of grace only a few times in their career and i think i guess i'm here to shift this upside down and or turn this upside down or um throw that in the trash it's actually you know i think a great time to talk about this because um sometimes people um see uh, people like me still doing what they do and they're like oh why are you still doing this there's a crisis you shouldn't be talking about this and um, I think I have an ethical responsibility to keep doing what I do uh, because some businesses are forced to shut down and if I have an online business I am not forced and so I should keep working to keep feeding my employees and to keep paying my taxes and etc. So the other reason why I think it's a great moment to do this is that this period of confinement is really offering all of us a time to reflect a time to look inside it's forcing us to look inside and not outside anymore and at the same time it's offering enough trigger panic fear and stress to actually squeeze all the stuff all the resistance out of your instrument because you're triggered and when you're triggered your shit comes out right so I went off track a little bit, but I'm I'm really going where I'm I'm wanting to go. So stay with me for a little bit. So when you feel that you can only sometimes touch your instinct, and not all the time, I want you to realize that the 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 fact that it's that it's only happening sometimes is not the real problem. The real problem is that um, you have a lot a lot a lot of resistance that is in the way of your instinct so you're born as an instinctive being all of us are that's how nature makes us we're very instinctive if you look at any child you'll see how instinctive they are they just do whatever the hell they sense in the moment and then they switch to something else right so you're born instinctive and then um, a thick layer of resistance is sprayed on you by education and authority by parenting by having to fit society by having to be like everybody else by having to follow right and all of that that resistance comes on top as a mask as a as a barrier as a rope that ties you up to to prevent your instinct from being what's running the show so your resistance is now running the show so um you know a lot of actors um, say that they keep have to go, going to acting classes or scene study classes or camera classes or whatever classes are out there to learn how to act because they don't feel instinctive all the time and they think that by putting in the time there's also a legend that says you have to put in 10 years before you can be a good actor by putting in the time then you'll finally feel really instinctive but again I'm here to to turn that upside down and to say if you were instinctive in the first place and you're not now, it's, it's not learning something new that is going to get you to your instinct. Your instinct is here, right? Then resistance comes on top and then you grow away from your instinct and you become an adult and you're right here. So if you continue to go to classes where you learn how to act with a technique or a method, well, you're moving further and further and further and further away from your instinct, which is actually here. Right. So the work to be done is to actually go backwards, to rewind, to undo, to take off the straightening jacket, to, to take off those clothes that were put on you so that you can get to the bare naked truth of your instinct, of who you are, of what your soul is, of what your being is. Right. And when you can do that, when you undo the, the straightening jacket, when you undo that resistance and that formatting and that conditioning, then you have a fully functioning instinct that can be there all the time so the way to crack your instinct open is not 
to continue hoping that someone out there has some answers for you to become instinctive. No, you are instinctive. No one can teach you that. It's your nature by default. But that nature has been muted. It's been muted by your conditioning, by your resistance, by your formatting, by your wiring. If it's muted, nothing that you will hear out there by someone else will give you this back. In order to get this back and crack it open all the time, you have to undo all of those things. Undo, just take it out, take it off, just take it all off. And then you get to the real, authentic, raw, incredible, magnetic instinct that we were all born with. And it's there. And then you, you, you train yourself to know how to use it again because you use it professionally, right? You use it for your work. So you don't just use it as any other human being, you actually need to be able to, you know, request it to work for you and it will work for you, right? So the steps I would say would be to undo everything that is, has pulled you away from your instinct, undo all that so you can get there, move through the resistance and then muscle up that instinct so that it can then be cracked open. It can then be used. It's never been used. It's been used by in a, during a couple of years when you were little, right? And when you crack it open, when you get in there, then, then you can train it and use it all the time. And then it's there for you all the time. And it doesn't have to show up a couple of times in your career. You can actually rely on it all the time. And so, yes, I think it's an amazing time to talk about this because the circumstances are pushing you to stay on your sofa, to stay inside of your four walls so that you can do some diving inside, so that you can take the time to be with you, to rediscover who you actually are as a human being and how special and unique and extraordinary you are. It's, it's the best trip you could ever do. There's no trip out there. There's no voyage out there that will be as interesting as the one that you could do inside. You're a human being. You're a living, functioning, organic, incredible machine no machine in the planet works as you know magically as we do going in there and discovering what that energy is is the most beautiful thing you can do for yourself and right now you're invited to do it mother nature is saying don't go out there don't go spending money don't go connecting with everything outside don't go running after things don't do 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 now be 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 it's the time to be it's the ideal time to look inside so um i'm probably going to put a free training under this i didn't mention that in the beginning i'll put it there so you guys can have access to it and start doing that work of actually undoing your resistance so you can crack open your instinct and there is nothing to learn in order to do that only to unlearn uh voila let me know if you have any questions and or comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys.